in writing. I received it, and that's what they gave me, so I signed off on it. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Amy. Um, I want to say everyone have a good night. Thank you all for your comments, and thank you for not slamming me because of my opinion. We're all entitled to our opinion, and um, we should respect one another's opinion. That's my philosophy. That's how I feel without being called a name or having animosity against a person. Um, so I want to thank you for coming out. If it's just a few, you had the opportunity to stand up and speak up. That's always been my philosophy. I say to the parents when I was on the Board of Education, you have a complaint, stand up, you speak up, come back and you let them know if that complaint has been addressed. Other than that, we have no way of letting you know. The last meeting, there was a lady here from Presidential Lakes talking about the firehouse. When will we know this and when will we know? I said, come back to the meetings. That's the only thing that you can do. We, the council, are limited to whatever information that we have. You know, and I try to work with, with the uh, administration. Trust me, I do. Believe me, I do. I'm not trying to uh, uh, be negative to my residents here. If I had my way, I, I remember my son saying, uh, if he ever hit the lottery, and I wish maybe he did, he said he'd go out throughout this township and pave the, the uh, um, streets or roads or whatever you call them. And I really appreciate that. I mean, you're talking about a 39-year-old married man with two children um, with a concern throughout the township just like his mother has. I don't want to hurt anybody. I really, truly don't. But it's okay. You want to hurt me? It's okay. I go home, pray about it, throw you up my shoulders, and it's okay. I, I'm able to go to sleep every single night. Not since I've been ill. <laughs> but I'm able to do that. Okay, so thank you so very much for coming out. And thank you for um, accepting and respecting the opinions of others. Lisa, um, I have a question about the railing update by Country Lakes on Chucktall. Summertime, kids will be out of school, but still open. Do we have an update on that, Mr. Gonzalez? Are you talking about the the dam that? Yes, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, we're at, at some point. I don't know exactly when, but in the next few weeks, when it's appropriate, we'll have when we have personnel, we'll we'll be putting up the fencing at some point. I mean, I can't tell you exactly when it's going to happen. Okay. And did we get Miss Miss Phillips asked about a speed bump? Did we? Did you get that down so we can for a special needs person? I have a difficult time understanding how she describes directions and locations. What, what so street was that, Ms. Phillips? I need a specific place so I understand. 210 New Jersey Road. The other thing I wanted to say was I wanted to thank uh, Jack for the positive <laughs> starting off. That was great. And I'll... Well, then keep learning. Keep learning. We're never too old to learn. Um, and I know you said you get frustrated or the residents get frustrated as they come to the mic. I rest assure you that we all get frustrated up here as well. But I, it is always nice to have some positivity. Um, the last thing that I wanted to say was, um, unfortunately, today's uh, back and forth was... Um, not a good thing. Apologize that uh, I had to get there. Um, we have to set a better example. My opinion here, we like I've heard all of them say, like I have said a, a many a times, that we are not always going to agree with each other. The residents are not always going to agree how I vote or not vote. And like Miss Denny said, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. But we have to, as council and, and, and just as people in general, have to sometimes just
calm, take a deep breath, and just talk on the facts that are before us. Um, it did not look good, and we have to take better control, Andy, as she was calling you to take control, okay? Got it. Got it? Good. <laughs> um, also, thank everybody for coming out tonight. We do thank you all for your comments, and I am grateful once again that we all agree to disagree with our decisions. It seems as though I make many enemies at from meeting to meeting with my decisions, but that's okay. It's part of it's part of the job, right, Miss Denny? That's it. Mr. It's part of the job. Jackson. But I vote how I feel, just as the rest of the resident uh, council members vote how they feel. So those are that's all I have to say. I thank everybody for coming out and for your views. Be safe until we meet again. Let's remember Pemberton High School if they graduate. Yes, well, Kim I was going to oh, say oh, that. Oh, you oh, missed oh, it during oh, your oh, time oh, frame. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll go back. Mrs. Trueblood well, has one more thing. Go ahead, Mrs. Trueblood. Jack's doing this to us. I'm sorry. <laughs> Five minutes. 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 Oh, for, oh. <laughs> practice. Sorry. Yes, you know, out of order there, Mr. Tompkins. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming. Graduation, as was just stated, is tomorrow night at uh, Burlington County Institute as Technology, I mean, as well as Pemberton Township. So we have a lot of kids going. Uh, one of the things that I am really grateful for in uh, the 41 years I've worked for our school system is the amount of scholarship money that I've been involved in raising for our kids and scholarships that we've started for our kids that weren't there before. And uh, this year we ran into a problem where we weren't going to be able to fund the $8,000 in scholarships and we were really worried and a couple of my members really stepped up and we are going to be able to provide uh, 10 scholarships tomorrow night, six $1,000 ones and four $500 ones as well as the Hall of Fame. That provides $12,000 in scholarships each year to our students, their freshman and sophomore years in college. And uh, it's one of the things throughout the years that I am really grateful because I know as a young graduate I could have used $500 or $1,000 and this money really helps our kids and we have great kids. You don't always hear about the great kids, but we have so many um, deserving students over there. A good number that go into the military, and I'm just very glad that uh, we have as good a school district as we can for the bargain that we get it for, because I know we complain about our taxes all the time, but I'm just very thankful that the majority of the school budget is paid for by the state and federal government because we don't have rateables in our town. And uh, have also, it's one of the things I fought very hard and been to Trenton numerous times to make sure we uh, keep that status of the former Abbott district because without that, we'd be packing up all our houses. So, but I agree with you, we need to do some something more about the houses that are vacant. I'm really concerned, it seems like it's continually growing and growing, and I don't know if we're not getting the word out there enough. I do think negative publicity really hurts us when people are looking to buy houses. They're not going to come where they think it's a laughing stock community because of things that happen. And
And I also, I will apologize to the public. I, I tried very hard to maintain composure this evening. One of the things that people know about me is I am not a liar. And that's the second time I've been called a liar in public at a council meeting. Um, difference of opinion we're allowed to have. We should not be calling names. And I'm not going to sit here and go through uh, various issues about who lied about what. The public deserves better. And with that, I do apologize. I want to make it extremely clear that I do support the road program that we have begun. But I also, and you've heard me many times, so it's not that it's a surprise about the uh, lack of information that I, I feel. And that's because we had the information the first four years. We worked together very well. Then all of a sudden, I don't know what happened, but that all stopped. And if Diane and I were here then, and that's why you hear us say we really miss the, that type of relationship with administration. That's the way we feel it should be. It's not that, and I do apologize to the public for uh, any outburst I might have had. With that, thank you all very much for coming, and I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion to adjourn tonight's meeting. Thanks. Sorry, Claire, but... Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, what is it? We'll throw... We can still... People are here. They can yeah. still hear. Um, I'm sorry. I've been up since 3 o'clock this morning, so my mind is getting... God love you. As you guys know, I'm the township representative of the Yellow Ribbon. A week from tonight is our third annual Pemberton Township fundraiser at Rita's 6 to 9. Just have a sweet treat at Rita's and the proceeds go to Operation Yellow Ribbon. Last year we raised six hundred. That's wow. Wonderful. That's awesome. Yep. So if you can, please come Gelatos in. Are good. Thanks for reminding us. Was it? Oh, I love